This is CDCI Connects, issue 17, February 2022. When do you feel loved? Just like love, inclusion takes many forms. Maybe it's someone providing a glass of water without you asking because they know your throat frequently gets dry. Or it's saving you your favorite chair, the one that lets you stretch your bad leg comfortably. Or making sure every meeting has live captions and an ASL interpreter as standard options before anyone asks. And breaks in the agenda for you to rest your eyes, eat a snack, or just go outside and fill your lungs with as much air as they will hold. The possibilities for inclusion are endless and can show up in small ways as well as grand gestures. They're the tiny kindnesses that we can all do to keep knitting our communities together. There are ways to begin redesigning systems so that people with disabilities don't face barriers to participation, but know that they are valued and welcome. So we want to know, what do you need to feel more welcome in your community? And what can you do to welcome in others? We have a new podcast episode this month. CDCI connects Dr. Winnie Luby and Dr. Safakar Kamabu Pomei. From Ghana to Burlington, by way of faith and a very strong mom, Dr. Safakar Kamabu Pomei joins CDCI academic coordinator Dr. Winnie Luby to share her experience of growing up in Ghana as a person with a disability. From contracting polio to a life-changing accident, Dr. Kamabo Pomei shares how her mother and her faith supported her journey to respected professor and entrepreneur. Seven Days Vermont is reporting on With schools in crisis mode, students with disabilities are being left behind. Why are Vermont schools failing children with disabilities and their families? And how can we advocate for a system that does better? Seven Days Vermont takes a look at some of the stories of families impacted by support gaps in education. The full article is available as text only online at Seven Days Vermont. In the research corner, we have a new piece of research for applied practice, a new wrap. It focuses on developing concepts with children and adults who have limited access to vision and hearing. Educators, families, and friends can support children and adults who have limited access to vision and hearing or who are deafblind in developing concepts that contribute to happy and inclusive lives. Here are 15 ways careful partners can lean in with their support. This piece is available as an illustrated study guide in PDF format, a plain text PDF, or a narrated video. You can find out more by going to go.uvm.edu slash CDCI research. On the events calendar, on Sunday, February 13th at 4 p.m. Eastern, a virtual event from All Brains Belong Vermont, Brain Club, owning and understanding your own brain rules versus world rules. Dr. Melinda Hauser, a family physician and All Brains Belong's executive director, will be talking through the difference. Wednesday, February 16th, Vermont Coalition for Disability Rights will be hosting their first Disability Awareness Day of 2022. The theme is Open to Change, Open to All, and they'll be highlighting their legislative priorities for 2022. Sunday, February 20th, there's another Brain Club event called Tuning In, Recognizing Stress Responses in Ourselves and Others. This will be with Amy Lepage, somatic movement therapist, and therapeutic yoga expert. Before p.m. Eastern, it will be a virtual event. Tuesday, March 1st, there is training on accessible Zoom meetings and events by Inclusive Arts Vermont. That's a virtual event at 9.30 a.m. Eastern. Wednesday, March 2nd, 1 p.m. Eastern, there's a virtual event from the Vermont Family Network called Advocacy 101, Basic Training on Effective Advocacy for Change. 
And in upcoming COVID-19 vaccine clinics, there is a COVID sensory-friendly vaccination clinic Saturday, February 12th at 12.30 p.m. in Montpelier, Vermont. It is open to everyone looking for a customized experience to help support folks with anxiety, needle phobia, sensory processing differences, visible and invisible disabilities of all types, and anyone else who would benefit from an intentionally designed vaccination experience. You must register online at the All Brains Belong website. That's allbrainsbelong.org. This is open to children ages 5 plus up through to adults. And finally, we profile a Think College alum because Think College is turning 10. Taylor Terry is a graduate of the Think College Vermont program and says, quote unquote, I'm living on my own now. I have a job as a cashier. I'm learning to do more things with my cupcake business. I've been working with Green Mountain Self Advocates and doing jobs and training, and I'm a youth ambassador to help people with developmental disabilities to have different alternatives to guardianship, end quote. You can find more over on the Facebook page for Think College Vermont. Taylor Terry shares how her experiences in the program have supported her in starting her own cupcake business, heading out to Cookie Con in Orlando, and becoming a mentor to other self-advocates. This has been CDCI Connects, Issue 17, February 2022. Thanks for listening.